everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you a little project that I created for Angel Dream Crafts. And I was actually inspired by my fellow teammate, Charlotte, who made a little tea bag journal. And she was inspired by our fellow teammate, Roseanne. So there's just inspiration all around. And of course, I will link everybody below so that you can go check them out and so they can inspire you too. So I was uh, watching Charlotte's uh, tea bag journal and I, I remember when I was inspired a couple years ago to make a tea bag journal, I was actually inspired by my fellow teammate Karen. So <laughs> I remember buying tea bags and I actually did make a tea bag journal and I swapped one with my friend Misty. I think we did Christmas themed. And I remember that I found it really challenging and it wasn't something that I was excited to create again. So I used all the tea bags um, down in my kitchen for my loose leaf tea. So <laughs> when I got inspir inspired by Charlotte's video, I did not have tea bags left, but I did have scrap muslin. So I decided just to whip up a couple of muslin pockets. And so I altered some muslin pockets and then I just slipped this um, card, um, card, it's not cardstock, what is it, chipboard, uh, down in the pocket so I could glue all over them and I wouldn't glue the pocket together. So I just made those. I did try to do like a tutorial, but I could not get the angle of my camera right. So um, I'm just going to show you the finished ones. And they're just, I wanted to show you what they're on in case you needed to whip some up. These are easy, easy, easy. So I just made little pockets and they're just cute. I mean, you could use it like a gift bag. You could also use it for a pocket, like in a journal. Um, I just think they're adorable. So let me just go through. There's just layers and layers of yummy bits on all of them. And I used all Angel Dream Craft bits on here. My favorite dangle lace is on this one. This big leaf is from that leaf trim that I showed you in my design team package. Um, these are the white little acrylic hearts. Uh, all of these um, flowers are from some of the snippity snip laces from her shop. And then I've got an eyelet from the shop and then my favorite tool trim. This one is in the beige. And then for this one, I used one of the uh, dress form cabochons, which my camera, I tell you, but it's so cute. And then I just surrounded it with rhinestone cup chain that you can also get from Angel Dream Crafts. And off of this one, uh, well, actually off of all of them, I dangled this beautiful rhinestone heart because I think they're so cute. So I just did the front side in case you wanted to add it to a project, you weren't going to cover up anything in the back so <laughs> it's cute I just think they turned out so cute so let me show you the um I did two of the dress form ones I did um, a neutrals and a pink and then uh, I snippety snipped up some of her pink applique and then I just added rhinestones all over it and you can you can't get these, but you can buy like these individual uh, rhinestones in these settings from Angel Dream Crafts. I love them. And this one, I used the pink rhinestone trim. And then I also used one of the dusty rose rolled or ribbon roses that are new in the shop. And then I also used the pink tool trim and some more um, eyelet lace in the back and another one of the hearts. Isn't it cute? I absolutely love, I love these little pockets and they were, they came together very quickly and they were very fun, fun to make, just something fun to sit down and do. So I made two fairy ones and I used some of her dangle trims and some more of the leaf trim, other snippety snip laces. And then on this one, I used one of the fairy cabochons you're just not going to be able to see. Let me see if I can try. No, if it's closer, it's not better. It doesn't, it doesn't. Well, all right. Well, you can, there's a link to the shop below and you can go over and see how cute they are. <laughs> mm, my 
camera though and I used uh, more of the white acrylic um, flowers from the shop and then I snipped up um, this beautiful lace from her store that I love and I love to just cut it up and use it oh sure now it'll focus nice thank you and layers and layers of snippety snippety laces and I did basically the same thing on the tops, just the eyelet and the tool trim. And then the rhinestone heart dangling off the side. They're too cute. And so then I did a pink fairy one. Isn't it sweet? And this bow is from Angel Dream Crafts. I had this beautiful butterfly in my stash. I'm not sure where I got it, but I love it. And then just a bunch of snippety snip laces in the background, more of my favorite dangle trim. And on this one, I use the pink ones that are new to the shop. Well, I don't, they're not new to the shop, but they were out of stock. They're back in stock. But by the time you see this video, who knows? You know how fast things go over there. And then I added some more uh, bling here and there. And uh, more of the pink applique in the background. Isn't it cute? They turned out so super cute. And so thank you to my teammates who constantly inspire me. You guys are amazing. And I will put the link to all of their videos below so you can go check them out. Um, make sure you go show them some love. They're amazing. And of the link to Kim's shop is below. And I hope you're doing well. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody.